What's up guys, I'm Dimitri with Hyrule Canucks. Right now we have the Cooler Master Suite where a lot of products are shown. They have like over 30 launches here, are you kidding me? But a lot of conceptual products launches as well. On my left there's this gigantic case which is used by Cooler Master engineers to uh, see what works, see what doesn't. They're really trying to target that modular aspect and they are taking those concepts and eventually they move on over to this line behind me. Hardware Canucks is at another fantastic Computex show, all thanks to NVIDIA, Fantex, NCIX, and MSI. The master case Maker 7 is that case right there. It's pretty awesome. Again, it's a conceptual presentation of what is available. Lots of modular aspects where with the rotatable motherboard, we can actually assemble the motherboard tray so that little, if you're using an ITX, MicroTX, or an ATX, whatever, everything will be compatible. But the new case that will actually be released is the Master Case 3. The Master Case 3 is a $99 product. It is targeting the micro ATX market, which is quite nice. It's a little bit smaller than the Maker 5, but not by much. And the $99 price point uh, includes the top radiator bracket. It has a side panel window. It has additional extra panels for silence and uh, unfortunately only one SSD location in the back. There are a few implementations and improvements they're rolling out with this case, like a removable um, a floor for the power supply chamber. So if you want to expand the interior, you can do that no problem. And we also have a modular M port rail, which is where you install or the hard drives that can be um, placed in two positions, either to hide some cables or for actual functionality with installation of drives onto it. These two upgrades will be rolled out into the Master Case 5 eventually at Computex 2017 for the Master Case 5. The Maker 5 also receives a new addition, the Maker 5 T. T stands for, well, they said turbo mode, which uh, basically transforms the case into a little bit more a turbo looking thing with a handle. So that's a board from the Trooper or the Striker and a new dual tone on the inside, which looks fantastic. I love the darker red. And people will also be able to upgrade the handle uh, by the handle separately and put it on their Master Maker 5. They also introduced a new series, the Masterbox series. The Masterbox 5 is behind me. They're telling us that the Masterbox 3 and potentially 7 in the pipeline, which is a little more standard and more simple version variation, has less features than the Master Cases series, but uh, it's going to be targeted the $79 or $69 price point and up, uh, and also have this, uh, the Masterbox uh, 5T. Again, the turbo case with a little panels here and a little more aggressive look. Two new cooler products that I found interesting was the new fan design. So it's um, it has a memory of maximum RPM that it has to maintain. So if a fan is placed against a, you know, a solid surface on a standard fan, it would slow down because there is a uh, you know, resistance on there. But for this one, it's supposed to maintain the maximum RPM, which you can actually change. So that's awesome if you want to maintain a certain uh, sound level. And the second product is this guy. Still unannounced, still in production. It's combining the technologies from the Master Liquid Pro and their Airflow series. So this is very interesting because it has uh, sort of water cooling and airflow elements built in. It's fairly compact, perhaps going to be called the Master hybrid liquid or something like that mounts like this and right now the fans are facing each other so don't get confused about blow the air blowing into the same spot the cool thing is because it can rotate it can either stand like this for airflow going in a standard direction um, i would say this is perfect probably for htpcs or for something small where you can still achieve better um, cooling performance versus an, at 120 aao but in a sort of I would say smaller compact footprint, especially uh, when this is above the motherboard. That is it for the Cooler Master booth. I'm really looking forward to reviewing the Master Case 3. It looks like a promising enclosure, lots of improvements going on. Can't wait for those improvements to move on to the Master Case 5. Let us know what you think about uh, the products that we talked about today. I'm Dimitri with Howard Canucks. We'll see you in the next video.